Hello and welcome back to Bloodborne Part 11, and in this part, we are finally making do on a promise that we didn't exactly complete with this character right here. Is this Pamela? This is not Pamela, this is Pamela's oh, right. You don't, neighbor. Right, you don't actually, uh, you don't actually go and uh, talk back to Pamela. Because you want to keep her alive. No, I don't go back to see Pamela. There, it's um. Honestly, it's unclear whether it's better to try to get her to to get Pamela to Odin Chapel or to leave her alone. I think I think it is I think it is better off to get her to Odin Chapel so that way she doesn't try venturing out to find her parents. Well, maybe. If you ask nicely. An outsider worth a lick of salt. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have work to do? Go split some throat. Get this mess done with. Um. So we're not actually going to escort her? No, no. It well, that's that's part of the that's part of the beauty of this whole rescue thing is that we don't actually have to escort these characters out. They just, I mean, they just make it out on their own power. <laughs> I mean, sure. I I don't want to do an escort mission, but at the same point, she ain't making it out of there on her own. No. No old ladies gonna. This is no country for old ladies. <laughs> And there ain't no rest for the wicked. No, there ain't no rest for the wicked. Gonna visceral attack everyone. I got bills to pay. I got dolls to feed. I got level ups in my greed. Ah, the bold hunter's mark. Allowing you to teleport back to Central Yarnum. Precisely. The counterpart of the Bold Hunter's Mark is just the Hunter's Mark, which, you st which is one of the earliest items you get in the game. The, the Hunter's Mark erases your blood echoes and sends you back to the last lamppost you rested at. But the Bold Hunter's Mark also sends you back to the last lamppost you rested at, but lets you keep your blood echoes. Okay. So you want to... I mean, especially late game when enemies start dropping that much more experience per kill... You won't be using Bold Hunter's Mark that much because they're expensive and you want to be using your... It's 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 kind of a wash early game because you spend Blood Echoes to get Blood Echoes, which is pretty ridiculous. Right. Yeah. Alright, so in this part, are we going to be going into... The, okay, we're not going into the Chalice Dungeon you unlocked. I believe... Um, I don't think we might be going after we might be going after our e our NPC buddy actually who we have to save from the Yarnum. <laughs> well, she don't offer me much in the way of conversation, but still, I'd rather see her alive anyhow. Uh, triumph! Yes. So, do you get a new emote for uh, each uh, uh for uh, each person you uh, rescue? Yeah. This guy, this guy will give me gestures because I, I guess just observing the gesture makes you like gain it. Let me take a good look at you. Oh my God, you're ugly. Mm, she has a bonnet though. Oh, no. I haven't forgotten. But do you think I owe you something? Kinda. <laughs> well, that's a fine lark, I'd say. This old mess that Yarnum's in, it's all your fault. You put it to the outsiders. No, it's not. I mean, it is kind of the fault of the outsiders. Don't you come near me. I know it. How so? She's, um, she's referring to a function of the other NPCs who we eventually may rescue. Yes. Not much. Yeah, a very briefly, a very briefly enjoyed triumph, I agree. So the other NPCs that you can get to Odin Chapel, they can give you as a reward uh, items that allow you to restore blood during combat. Okay. The old lady does not want to give you her blood so that you can use it during combat. Uh, she doesn't like you. <laughs> Us rather, yeah. Perfect timing. I must warn you. Not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. 
Henrik, an old hunter. So I guess our next major ki uh, obstacle is to go kill Henrik. My mark. He's he's optional. Shh, it's optional. Now which which gesture do I want to relinquish so that I can use the shush gesture? Okay, we're giving up prey. Now we're going from prey to. Shh, be quiet. Well, he's hunting blood echoes. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we have activated a very important event, and it looks like, yes, we are going after it right away. It's the Henrik assassination. I thought you said we weren't going after Henrik. We are going after Henrik, which is okay. which is to say we're going after we're, we're we're going after Eileen's safety because now that she has warned us about Henrik, Henrik has actually wait no that's right you don't even have to you don't even have to talk to Eileen in order to know that Henrik is down below. Henrik is down below whether you want him to be there or not. He scared the fucking right. shit out of me one time because he jumped out at me. I didn't know he was there. Okay. Um, so, that kind of looks like it's just a tree. <laughs> Has Henrik been transmogrified into a tree? This beastly curse is fucking amazing. I, I can't believe how easily and inconsistently I do this, like, every time. Gotcha. Now, run away. Run away. Oh, my God. Seriously, you're not gonna fight him fair? No, you don't want to fight this guy fair. I don't have a lot of health, I don't have a lot of defense, and his gun is ridiculously powerful. And he's using a sock lever. Okay. Ah, this one, my old friend. He's going to turn this old man to old bones. Use the old hunt of bone. Ack! There's another dude there. It's Eileen. It's okay. She's she's our she's gonna fight with us. That Ouch. that is if she will come out of the fucking shadows. All right, let's do this together. So now, now Morpheus has become Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Why? Because that's Shadow fighting with us? Um, no, more or less because he, 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 you know, dodge rolls around at the speed of sound. Dodging around at the speed of sound. Spilling Got, place. Got places to go, gonna... Oh, no! She's dead! Henrik, she's dead permanently, isn't Henrik, she? you bastard! You killed her! You killed my friend! <laughs> you fucked it all oh, come up! Come on, Eileen was, uh, Eileen was not really our friend. She needed to survive, damn it! <laughs> the, the whole thing, Why? the whole thing is botched. Well, first we, first we need to get rid of this fucking guy now because now he pissed me off. <laughs> Asshole. We killed his friend. Now he's killed ours. I guess that makes us even. But you're out of silver bullets. Angry Hunter hey, he is angry. He gestured at you. <laughs> he angry Hunter is angry. <laughs> Ow. You suck. You suck. You really, really suck. Because even though he has, like, almost no health left, this guy is just as dangerous as ever. Okay, so what is the actual visceral timing that you're supposed to do? Is it just after he swings? It's right for it's it's after, it's after he starts and before he hits. Okay. Fuck yourself. You screwed up the rest of this game for me, buddy. But it was a pleasure fighting against you. Mm. Air. Mm. That's a rune that increases the number of blood echoes you get when you successfully kill an enemy with a visceral attack. Okay. Now, what just happened was Eileen was supposed to survive. That is her cor that is her corpse. 
I will see you again in the next Undreaming Life. The Crow Hunter badge. So now that Eileen is dead, what does uh what uh what negative things have happened because of this? So for one thing, we do not get the approval gesture. The approval gesture is uh, raising your hand above your head and clapping, which is one of my favorite gestures in the game. We we will not be getting. Um, Eileen will also not be around for the rest of the game. She sets up another event where you're supposed to take out a vile blood hunter who occupies the Grand Cathedral much, much later in the game. Or Eileen also can become a blood addled hunter herself and try to kill you. Um, okay. But most damning of all is that because I fail to kill her, even though I successfully killed Henrik, the game will not let you summon Henrik as, a, as an NPC cooperator for the rest of the game. All right. That, which is the main point of going after Henrik. You want Henrik to be able to help you in combat because he helps you take out some of the most important bosses, and he's really, really powerful. But I fucked it up, and there's nothing I can do about it. Hmm. It is quite a shame, Mr. Gridad. I'm sorry that I was not able to do it. <laughs> Okay, so how does this affect your uh, how does this gonna affect your playthrough? Is it going to be uh, so much uh, significantly difficult to the point where you uh, should have considered a reset? <sighs> not not really, though. Uh, it would have made the game a lot easier. That's all. Is that it? It now that now that I can't decrease the difficulty, I have to run the course only with what I have left. I do have some. Resource. I do have some options at you know for recourse for the bosses when Henrik would have been useful because um, you see in the instances when you can summon Henrik you usually are able to summon an alternative buddy but the point is that you are able to summon both of them simultaneously so you have two cooperators and now you have neither <laughs> 